most glaring to you when you look at the way the game unfolded the way it did? Yeah, I, I, I don't think we had a sense of urgency. You know, I thought we were a little passive. Uh, you know, I, I don't want to say we didn't play hard, but it didn't feel like, you know, we put the emphasis on each possession that was necessary. And, you know, we talked about it before the game. Teams are going to give us their best shot. You know, we're going to have a target on our back and uh, we got to rise to the occasion. On nights when, you know, you think you maybe are a better team, we're going to get a team that's much better than they are um, the previous night because they, they see the numbers, the names on the back of the jersey, and they're going to rise to the occasion. Brian Lewis in the New York Post. <clears throat> hey, Steve. Um, this is twofold. I mean, A, do you have any, I guess, more clarity on how Spencer is? And secondly, is it going to take these guys a little while to get accustomed to having that target on the back, even though understanding that you haven't won anything yet, that they're going to get that shot every day from the opponent? Spencer will be evaluated in the morning, so I don't have any answers there. Um, yeah, you know, it, it's so early and it's so new. You know, we've been together for less than 30 days. Um, so we don't have a lot of common experiences. So I think, you know, it's inevitable that we're going to go through some lessons and some some bumps in the road. And and actually, those are welcome because that's an opportunity for us to learn and grow. Greg Logan with Newsday. Uh, Steve, uh, you've been so good on defense, uh, but tonight uh, they outscored you in the paint 64 to 24. What did you see as the problem on the interior tonight? Yeah, I think a lot of it was penetration. You know, we didn't do a great job of staying down on our men. Um, you know, I thought that was uncharacteristic, but uh, we let them get in the cracks too much. They got at rim attempts, which gave them offensive and glass opportunities. But you can also say we turned it over 19 times for 23 points. That kills your defense. So when they're getting out in transition and getting layups, that's a lot of pain points. That breaks down our our defensive principles and everything we, we try to bring every night. So... Turning the ball over definitely killed us as well. <clears throat> Alex Schiffer with The Athletic. Hey, Steve, when you guys were making that run in the fourth quarter, I guess just what, what was working for you guys there, especially that maybe you weren't doing as well earlier in the game and in the quarter even? Well, we got some stops. You know, we put we put a, put together a run of stops, which obviously was important because in the third quarter we, you know, we gave up so many, so many points that uh, we had to improve our defense, put together some stops, and then we made some shots, made some threes. TLC made threes. Kai made a couple, Kevin made a bucket or two. So we uh, we had a good run, but it was too little too late. I think we had to obviously take a look at ourselves and say we left it a little late tonight with our intensity. And uh, our guys are our guys are winners. They they fight and they this is the first day where there's been any sort of little letdown, whether it's practice, preseason games, or regular season. So um, we'll learn from it and we'll get better. Christian Winfield with the New York Daily News. Hey, Coach, uh, what did you see from Jarrett? Uh, and, and what did he bring uh, in the minutes that he played that maybe DJ didn't? I say that he went for more minutes than DJ tonight. Um, and and I, I forgot my second question, so you can just go with that one. It's all right. Um, well, Jared's just so active. Uh, live body, both ends of the floor, picks, rolls hard, caused problems on his rolls, and also defensively, he's just so active. Quick feet, um, second efforts around the rim. I just thought he was doing a great job, so we wrote him. And, uh, you know, that's two good games for him. Sorry, three good games for him in, in, in this season. So uh, proud of the way he's played. I remember my second second part of the question. Um, do you think that a, a game like this is kind of like right on time and that you kind of need a, a game like this in terms of adversity, uh, especially when you have a team with such high, high aspirations? Do you think now is just a good as good as any, as long as we bounce back and have a great mentality, um, you know, it's a, it's a long season and a long process. You know, like I said, less than 30 days in here. Um, we're still trying to find ourselves and figure out who we are. They've been exceptional thus far with their effort um, and engagement. And tonight was a little bit of a letdown, but that's going to happen. You know, when you're playing basketball almost every day, uh, it can't be perfect all the time. So uh, a slight letdown, but we've asked them to bring it every day. And they have until tonight. Maybe it was a, a step below their usual effort, usual attentiveness and engagement, but uh, a lot of good things too. And these lessons, you're right. I mean, if, if you if you approach them with the right attitude and you bounce back and you learn your lessons, that's that's the resolve and the growth that we're looking for through this process. Tom Dowd with BrooklynNets.com. 
Steve, you said, you know, eventually circumstances were going were to make you have to be fluid with rotations and lineups. And did we start to see that tonight? And it might bleed over into tomorrow, depending on Spencer's status. And, you know, within that, how impressive was TLC coming off the bench in a pinch? Yeah, I think, you know, we, we knew this type of stuff's going to happen. Someone's going to get an injury, whether it's minor uh, or not. Um, you know, we know we're in a pandemic. You know, we have to be willing to adapt, and our depth has been a strength. So TLC was fantastic off the bench, and tomorrow night we're going to have to just, you know, um, assess the situation, assess bodies and, and minutes, and see how, how guys come through in the morning, and then we'll make decisions about tomorrow night.